Okay, so at this point, we've got our drawing or layout. We've identified the views, and we've started our thoughts on positioning by picking a relative layout as our view group. This is a great time to start coding. Okay, so what I have open here is the code that we were working on before, which is activity underscore main dot XML, located in the layout folder. Now, as far as creating the views, we already have about half of the work done. We have a relative layout, and we have one text view that says, Happy Birthday, Ben. To get all the views you need, you're going to want to make an image view. You're also going to want to make one additional text view. Adding the additional text view should be pretty easy. The image view requires a little bit more work because you actually need that Android party picture. In the instructor notes, we've included a link to that picture so that you can download it. OK, so I've downloaded the picture, and I've saved it to my desktop. It's saved as androidparty.jpg. Now you might recall before, when we added images to our XML, we said that we'd save them in a folder on the computer called the Drawable folder. Also remember how our app has a bunch of files and folders associated with it, which we can see in the directory structure on the left. These include layouts, pictures, sometimes music, and so on. A lot of these types of files are going to be housed in the res directory, which is short for resources. The res directory contains subdirectories for all the image, text, layout, and other resources the app might need. And as we said, for images, there's this folder called Drawable. For this app, all images should be placed inside of the Drawable folder. Once you've put the image into the Drawable folder, you can use the source attribute of an image view and give it the value at Drawable and then the name of the image. Note, when you're writing the image name, you do not need to add the file extension. OK, so now I'm going to show you how to actually put a picture into the Drawable folder. OK, this image is in the instructor notes, so go ahead and download it to your desktop. Next, I want you to open Android Studio. In Android Studio, you can go over here and right-click the Drawable folder. From there, you should see something that says Reveal in Finder or Reveal in Explorer. Here, I can see the Drawable folder. So right now, I'm going to move the androidparty.jpg into the Drawable folder, and I'm just going to do that by dragging it over. OK, so make sure you're starting with the correct XML code. And if you don't have the correct code, you can go ahead and copy and paste it from the instructor notes. All right, first things first, download androidparty.jpg. Then take androidparty.jpg and move it to the Drawable folder. Once that's done, go ahead and add the text view that says from and then your name. And after that, add the image view with the source attribute as Android Party. There's actually a lot of default padding in the code that you're working with, so you could go ahead and delete that. What do I mean by default padding? Well, it's this padding bottom, padding left, padding right, and padding top. You can go ahead and just delete it. Finally, click the green arrow to run the app on your phone. When you've finished all of these steps, your app should look like this. Note, it's a little bit hard to see on this screen, but the text views are actually overlapping. That's completely normal and something that we're going to deal with next.